Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Moto Shop. I'm your host, Sam Barber, and with me, Ellery Connell. Ellery, how are we going to get our moto running today? Well, today we're going to actually make it so we could make something run. We're going to set up an IK set, uh, an IK set of handles here for this um, advanced complex robot leg. We're uh-huh. actually going to make another leg. We're going to hook them up to some hips. Wow. So so moto does uh, IK rigging then? It does. With discrete pieces, individual pieces, you can, you can set up locators and do it. Um, the setup for something that's going to blend and has like a soft body feel, much harder. Right. 501, if you're listening. Five. If <laughs> Everyone's waiting. waiting. <laughs> but but for now, but we now can we do can. some amazing uh, mechanical rigging. Absolutely. We can. And uh, in addition to all everybody's favorite, FK. Yep. So that's forward kinematics yep. for the for the toddlers. Which we'll actually have to use to get our IK set up. So. All right. Well, let's get started. Let's get let's get this thing moving. All right. So if you if you want to look here, what I have is I have an upper bone, I have a middle bone, and then I have something that could be a, a foot. I've just got it as a little cylinder right now, but you know you could attach a foot to the front of it. Okay. Um, and then I have three locators. I have upper bone, lower bone, foot bone. Mm. All right. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to put these in the proper place. So the lower bone. I happen to know from the way I built this that this cylinder is aligned. Well, it will be in a second. As soon as I zero out my Y yeah, always a and good my idea. Z. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what happens when... But this is a very good lesson. We, we always want that zeroed out before we get started yes, with, uh, with the rigging. Mm-hmm. So now this is like perfectly in the center. Mm-hmm. And so the lower bone, we know we can leave right there. Okay. The upper bone, however, we're going to want it to line up with this top joint and the foot bone, wow, with... <laughs> the bottom joint. With our wallpaper. <laughs> with our wallpaper. So we want the the, the bone up top to just going to line up with that joint exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep, and, exactly. And now we need to make that happen. All right, so I'm going to go over to polygon mode, and I'm going to select the two polygons on the side. Uh-huh. And one of the things that is a huge difference between Moto and a lot of other apps is you can set up your work space here to align itself to any given point in space. So now oh. I've aligned all my work planes. Yeah. Click so now we're, we're able to uh, look at all of our uh, different perspectives of the polygons that you have selected mm-hmm. so that we can really uh, focus in and work on that. And Moto knows that's what we want to do. Exactly. So now we've got our work, our work plane aligned here. We're going to switch over to the Animate tab. Mm. And the reason I always align in the Model tab is because if you just do it over here, things always seem a little upside down because you notice that gradient that's our normal cue right. as to where we are is really funny. Yes. A lot of weird stuff going on. Um, and so we can take that upper bone and then we just tell it to set to the work plane position. Mm-hmm. And now you can see that bone is centered right around those two polygons. Oh, very handy. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here with, let's choose our foot, go back to polygons, and I'll select the two polygons on either side. And again, I'm going to set my work plane, align it to the selection. Okay, and then I'm going to select my foot bone, mm-hmm. and I'm going to set that to the work plane position. You can see the that just snapped right in there yeah, now, so, so we easy. don't have that caddy wumpus feel. We'll reset our our work plane now, so we have right. just a straight up and down feel. I was getting dizzy. My okay. vertigo was setting in there. Yeah, I know, kidding. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got everything set up here, we actually want to have two feet here. But if we rig everything up and then duplicate the feet mm-hmm. or duplicate the legs, that is, sometimes we run into some real big problems. So, so just copying and pasting is not going to work. Doesn't really work. But no. what I can do is I can select everything, make sure I'm in item mode, mm-hmm. and then I'm just going to move everything over, you know, about as far over as I want my this leg to be. All right. And then I can use Shift-V, which is our, our mirror tool, and then I'm just going to click Apply here, and now you can see we have another set here. We right. have lower, upper, foot, two with all these. So these are what I'll link up one side oops, to the other, okay? Uh-huh. So now we have to set up a hierarchy. So right. the foot bone is connected to the <laughs> shin bone, the shin bone is connected <laughs> to the thigh bone. I know that song. And there you go, you have that set up. So let's do the right. same thing with the other one. We'll select, okay. put the foot in with the lower and then the lower in with the upper. Mm-hmm. And it's good to set up your your flow of, um, of locators first and then put your, um, your corresponding mesh layers into them. So I'm going to take the foot and put it into foot, lower, put it into lower. So you put the mesh in, uh, inside mm-hmm. or underneath in the hierarchy. Yep, exactly. The bones. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to put upper two into upper two, foot two into foot two, and lower two into lower two. All right. All right, so we're, we're most of the way here now. Yeah, we're almost there. All right, so now if I just grab, you know, these three locators that are associated with this leg, 
I'm not going to have, if I go over here to my modifiers, I'm not going to have the option to apply IK. Uh -huh. And that's because you have to pre-bend these these legs so that it knows how to bend the IK up. That makes right, sense. You know, yeah. your knees don't bend both ways right. uh, unless you've got them broken. <laughs> um, so what we'll do is we'll select both of the top locators here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to set my action center to automatic. And I'm just going to rotate these forward a little bit. So you're just cueing the, uh, the system that, that this is the way it's going to bend. Exactly. So and then I'll bend my knees back just a little bit. Mm. So now I've got these set up. So now if I select these three locators, oh. I can see that apply IK becomes visible. OK. And something funny happening. What the heck? This is All like right. the. There we go, but it does seem to have worked. Beautiful. Uh, so, so now we can we can bend this these little we can, guys. We're gonna do the same thing actually with the other leg first. Yeah. Uh, apply IK. All right. So now we have. You can see we have these goals here. So I'm gonna take these two goals, select them both, get my move tool, and you can see we have to use the bend. So let's do. Let's add one more uh, locator here that will be our hips. Mm. So we'll drag it up kind of about in hip range. All right. And I'm gonna take both of my IK chains the and I'm going to drag them into that one. And now, if I select this one, I can move them as a whole. So you have a single I controller can, for, for both of those joints. I can rotate them, and they're going to keep up. I Beautiful. can make them jump up off the ground, wow. and they'll jump up off the ground. All right, brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Ellery Carnell, for showing us all about IK in Moto. And thank you for watching Moto Shop.